Greetings and thank you for joining me for today's Innovations in Facial Plastic Surgery Update. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Today we will briefly talk about the hair cycle. The hair cycle is very important in understanding both hair loss and hair restoration surgery. At any given point in time, the hair on your scalp is in a different part of the hair cycle. Only maybe 40 to 50 percent of the hair on your head is actually growing. The remainder of the hair is either in a state where it is simply existing on your head or it's possibly in a resting state. Hairs which are in the resting state still have the follicle, the part underneath the skin which is responsible for growing the hair, but the shaft, the part that you can actually see, has fallen out. In hairs undergoing androgenic alopecia or male pattern baldness, the hair shaft has fallen out and the hairs are actually in the sleeping state. Medications such as Rogaine and Propecia help to block the effects of the androgens such as testosterone and its byproducts and push more of those hairs into the growing state. Therefore, when you take medications such as Rogaine and Propecia, you may notice an increase in the hair density. It's still the same number of hairs that you had, it's simply that more of them are actually growing. In addition, when you have a hair transplant, the hairs become shocked, so the shaft, or the fo uh, the shaft falls out, but the follicle is still present. And it generally takes several months for the hairs to re-enter the growth cycle to be able to actually see the results. That's why most surgeons will tell you that it takes about six months to really see the results of a hair transplant. For more information about this and other innovations in facial plastic surgery and hair restoration, visit my website at www.drverrett.com. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.